Hi, welcome back to my video series investigating the ARM Cortex M33 core, and this is Mark from Embedded Pro. It's week 17, and this week I'm investigating Wi Fi. I'm going to use the NXP LPC 55S69 evaluation board with the micro Wi Fi 10 clickboard, and I'll be connecting to my home Wi Fi network. Here's the board that I'm using it's from Micro Electronica. It's called the Wi-Fi 10 clickboard and it's part number Micro 3432 if you want to order one. The board arrived today so let me go and unbox it and show you what we get in the kit. Well I received my Micro Wi-Fi 10 clickboard today from catalog distributor Mauser. Here it is in a tiny little cardboard carton. Let's slip it out of the sleeve. Here it is. It's another sleeve. Let's push it out. And the board is just packaged securely here. So here it is on the back. It's labeled SXUL PAN. You can see the micro connectors there. And on the upper surface, we can see the Wi Fi module. It comes from uh, Qualcomm. And so let's see it connected to the LPC 55S69 EVK. Here it is, neat fit onto the micro connectors. And I think it must be time to take it for a test drive with MCU Expresso SDK. The MCU Expresso SDK for the LPC 55S69 EVK contains a built in Wi Fi example. The project is called QCA Demo, that's the Qualcomm Atheros Demo, and should work for any Wi-Fi module based on the QCA 4004 Wi-Fi chipset. That chipset can be found on a number of different shield boards, and this example has been built to work with three different shields. We can read the readme.txt, which gives us an introduction to the, the project and we can see the project supports different shields, the Silex 2041, the GT202, and of course the Wi-Fi 10 clickboard from Microelectronica. I need to modify this file on Wi-Fi shield.h to support the Micro 10 clickboard. And that header file, Wi-Fi shield.h, can be found down here in Wi-Fi QCA. It's a port for the board and it's a shield and I can open Wi-Fi shield.h I'm using the Wi-Fi 10 click so let me take this hash define and paste it here and now when I build the project it will be built for the Wi-Fi 10 click board let me save that. Back to the README. What the project will do is to set up a command line interface that will run on the UART and will give me access to these commands. I can scan the Wi-Fi networks, I can connect to a Wi-Fi network, I can get a DHCP address and so on. This is all output from the board either via semi-hosting or via a UART and I want to use a UART today. So like always, I'll select the project and I'll use the quick settings dialog to send output to SDK debug console, UART console. That just went off the screen, but I selected the UART console in that dialog. To access my office Wi-Fi router, of course, I need the SSID and a password and the project will default to using an SSID NXP and this password. I'd like to change that and I can do that in the beginning of main where I can hash define the SSID and the passphrase. So at line 43 and 44 I've typed the SSID Ozymandias and the passphrase. Well finally I can build my project 
click build and here we go the project's built the dot tech segment is about 140k bytes and the bss the ram that's used in the project is 24k bytes we have an output qca demo.axf elf file and i can flash that to the board with the debug shortcut as always, a probe discovery, we find the LPC link to. Click OK. And we'll now flash up the board with this project. We find two cores. Of course, the project's built for core zero. That's OK. We'll flash the microcontroller and load the debugger and run till main. Here we are at the start of main. Let me set up my terminal. I'm on a serial port, it's this calling unit here, USB modem, 115.200 of course. And here we are, we're good to go. Let me run the project. And we get printed out the shortcut help menu here. Let me make a Wi-Fi network scan with S. We're scanning to see what Wi-Fi networks the board can see. It can see my office network and a second one. Well, I want to connect to this network, Ozymandias24, and I can do that with the C connect command. You can see I'm now connected to the Wi-Fi network. Next, I need a DHCP assigned IP address, and my board has been allocated the 1.117 IP address. The default gateway is 1.254. If I hit H to get the menu again, I now have a DHCP assigned IP address and I can ping the gateway with P. So we're pinging the gateway 1.254 and we can see a 5 millisecond round trip delay. Now I can look up some domain names with a domain name server so I use the command R to resolve some host names. These are just built into the demo. So we're resolving google.com, crypto, kernel.org, and nxp.com. H again to see the menu. And now there's a very limited HTTP client built into the demo. And I can issue the HTTP get command to nxp.com. So let me try that with G. It's gone off the screen. So we look up nxp.com with a domain name service, and then we use HTTP get from that IP address. It's on port 80, of course, because it's HTTP. We get a response from nxp.com. And this tells us that that website has been moved permanently. And we can see the exact sequence that's been returned just here. Well, that's all for the Qualcomm Wi-Fi demo. Let me stop the debugger. And close the project. Well, did you find this video interesting? I hope you did. And if you did, you can subscribe to my channel, you can like the video, and you can share it with your friends. This was week 17 and the final video in my series. If you've got things you'd like me to investigate, please leave a comment below, and I'll think about what I'll publish next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.